professional darts and maybe it's time for him to, to make a move and, and do something. I think that's a fair assumption, Murph, because he has Nine been in and out. He's almost one of those players who just plays when he wants to. Almost likes the fact that he has a bit of freedom to play 16. where he wants. But I've played against Ryan De Vreda before and he's a very impressive player when he's confident. But with all due respect to Ryan, this game is all about Roscoe. I mean, this guy, what a cool dude. Flying the flag for Italy. And I think that Italy is a growing market when it comes to darts. We've got people coming through and people improving standard-wise from La Bella Italia. Yeah, one of the big ones that is catching a lot of attention right now is a young woman called Aurora Fochisato, and she reached the semi-finals of the JDC World Championship, which was a mixed event. She lost out to Leighton Bennett in that. Didn't she lose in the final of the Malta Open as well to Paula Jackson? Yeah, absolutely. Also won the International Youth Challenge in Vienna just last month. So certainly one to watch. And one that may well appear on this very stage very soon. 60. He's not the tallest of men, Roscoe, but I'll tell you what, if you put him in the middle of a scrum, he'd get the ball for you. 16. Francesco Yuriko, 110. Just made a half decent start. As Tony O'Shea was saying in the preview, he's been very excitable all day, almost as excitable as his partner, Debbie. But just over the last. Half an hour or so as the match is approached, his demeanour's changed and, and O'Shea put that down to the nerves starting to creep in. Game first time. 30 minutes before your schedule to go on. Francesco requires 65. Quieting you down. Well, Raschini looking at 65 and trouble 19 wasn't the worst department to go, but Tops has left. 25. So Ryan De Vreda's got a chance to steal. Treble 20. 14. Or the treble. Never even considered attacking the treble. Bullseye. 59. Francesco Yuriko, 40. Tops it is for Roscoe. Yeah, that's game shot. Very nice first indeed. Line. Francesco Rescue. Tidy stuff. Second but may have to improve to the overall Game. standard from that first leg if he is to get the victory in this best of three match. Last time Ryan De Vreda was in this tournament, 100. he lost out to a certain Larry Butler in 2016. An almost legendary player who has won both sides of the darting divide. Yeah, six years ago since... 40. The Raider was beaten. Calling himself Pac-Man now. Do you know where that comes from? Not a clue. One I'm not going to pretend that I know because I don't. Pac-Man in the treble 20. Should be obviously daft of Raider. What's wrong with you, Ryan? You love a pun, don't you? Well, we've already got a, a Star Wars themed star player in World Darts and John Park. 1994 champion at this very venue. One of only a few players who have won the World Championship at three different venues. Well, De Vrede has had a much better leg this time in a stark contrast to what Raschini has tossed in so far. 60. Ravini Uriqua, 128. Great leg here from De Vrede. 1 2 8 turns into 68. He can approach. 96. With ease. Quite the vast lead in leg two. But this is what you would expect to happen. Maybe not by this margin, but a few holes of throw to start, and then potentially one break of throw is all you need. 60. And a bunch of holes Nine to get through this first 32. round. Double 16. Had a quick glance, I think, at his opponent's score there. No score. Knowing that it wouldn't matter if you missed, it wasn't crucial. 
Seemed to have blocked himself out. Those darts leaning in a little bit over that double. Forty-three. Right, you require thirty-two. There is his partner, Roscoe's good lady Debbie, on translation duties. No score. Doesn't have to translate. No score. For De Vreda, who's missed six of that double now. But he the bad, bad news for his opponent is that he's nowhere near. <laughs> if he keeps doing that, this would be the steal of the century. Ninety-four. Right, you require well, I don't know about the counting there. That was just a little bit lax. I think he should have used the 18s on dot two. Well, finally he puts one inside, but it's made it difficult to hit the double eight. Difficult. Yeah, that's came short in a second he made it look easy. The Vrede. The Vrede levels up this match. That was the most difficult shot at a double that he had in that leg, and he hit it. Now, I've got to ask you a question about Italian darts because we've talked about Aurora and we've talked about Roscoe. We know that they've done well over the last year. 100. But in order for Italy as a country to improve at this great game, do you think it's time that we take more tournaments One there on top 14. of the Italian Grandmasters, which has become a bit of a fixture on the WDF calendar? Certainly a place that people would be pleased to visit, I'm sure. Beautiful country. Another player we should mention is Stefano Tomasetti, who actually was Italian pairs champion 55. with Francesco Raschini. Yeah, one of the best profiles on Twitter right now is Darts in 55. Italy. An incredibly honest Twitter account who constantly update you on what's happening in that beautiful country when it comes to darts. That's where I've got a lot of information about this guy. And how he got here. 41. Yeah, and it has been in the news over in Italy, this first appearance. He has picked up some headlines. They are interested in his achievement. Roscoe had been the first Italian on this special stage. It's always nice to be the first at doing something, isn't it? Talk about Neil Armstrong being the first man to walk on the moon. I know this isn't the same thing, but to be the first Italian to grace this historic stage. That is a big deal. That was a big beard you just saw in the background there from Dirty Harrison. Andreas Harrison, who we 59. saw in action and disappointed in the end yesterday. Yeah, not quite the same beard from Roscoe, but he's in position potentially here to put himself on something very handy. 66. Until then. Right, you require 148. Yeah, big opportunity for De Vrede to take control of this set. He will probably expect to be coming back. Francesco, you require 138. in need of a couple of trebles here. 57 was the target, which would have left 82. Now, Ryan De Vrede has got a lot Ryan more pressure on this shot than the last leg. Does he leave double 16 again? No, it's tops. I'm not sure whether he just aimed at the wire in the middle there. It was 28. neither here nor For there. You require 52. And the doubles are taking some getting. Double eight now for Raschini. I've never got that shot. But it works. Yeah, Who am I to criticise what works? Ford laggers are right at 12 first. Game on. Single 12 for tops, single 20 for double 16. That's traditional. But what obviously the treble 12 is utilised there because he likes double eight. Can't argue with the scoreline of 2 1 to Raschini. Yeah, there's been a stark contrast in. The bit at the 45. beginning of the leg and the bit of the end. De Vreda racing away in the last couple of legs, but messing around on doubles. And Roschini seems to find 16. that bit the easiest bit. And one thing that has to be mentioned about Central Europe and going towards the places like Romania, which we saw represented yesterday by Laszlo Kadar, 100. Italy, Serbia. Poland, Austria. These countries were 59. predominantly soft tip darts countries. 
until steel tip darts really started to get some traction around the turn of this century. And a lot of players who were playing electronic darts every week locally and playing tournaments and festivals in their own countries, they've made the transition to steel tip because the tournaments are there to play now. 43. Well, we're going to see a similar pattern here. Because if they get down to a double at a similar time, then you would back Raschini to win the leg. The Raiders had four times as many darts as a double than his opponent in this match, but finds himself behind. Yeah, it's a bit of an odd statistic because it wasn't Ryan De Vreda something in the region of 339 points what ahead in one of those 40. legs. Yeah, that was a leg he did go on to win eventually, but a couple of darts missed at double did cost him in the leg that followed. He's one out of 12, while Ross goes two out of three. So by that token, Ryan, do not leave him on a shot, because he will take it. It's all well and good taking doubles at the start of a set, Lane but we saw from Tori Kiewicz in the previous match. It took her 13 darts to win her match with the last double. 43. Only one treble required Fosky here for Eskini. Starting at treble 17. Oh no, he's starting at the bolt. Well, often we see that shot employed when your opponent's not on a finish. He's trying to tidy up now. 91 remaining. Now it will be treble 17, or will it be the bull again? 81. He should have started Ryan there. Unicorn 56. Still smiling. Will she be smiling? in a second well that leaves 48 this time it's only one at tops and it is to save the set well that says it all doesn't it such a struggle for divrader so far yeah but it did the trick the he needed that the that deep breath that Still refocus not fast. rushing at the double and he pops tops to level the opening set at two apiece we've seen plenty of dutch winners at this venue haven't we Rima van Barneveld, you mentioned, has won four titles 45. on this stage, the most of any player. Wolfie's got three, of course. But he had a class and one in 2006, and one of them Christian Kist. Well, not quite getting the, uh, the sign etiquette there. Didn't have a chance to read all that. Yeah, keep it punctual. And keep it nice and punchy. I think it was good luck, everybody, basically. Yeah, what I, what I was meaning by punctual there was 86. Laura Turner doesn't play until about half ten tonight. You're a bit early. 100. You love to see these first sets go all the way because this is what set play is all about. One leg shootout, six see who registers the first set win. That's it, that's the way. Up the Surrey. Oh, Laura Turner is a Surrey dweller from Byfleet, so maybe that's another Laura Turner fan. We're talking about punctuality. The muffin man Steve Hine, who's playing approximately 9 p.m. this evening, was in the practice room earlier today having a chuck. That's what we call in the industry pulling a move. One hundred and thirty-five. Right, you require one hundred and sixty-four. Well, he's going to give himself a chance here in the all-important fifth leg of the opening set. Left himself a ton after a dozen darts. Raschini not too far behind. One treble will put him in front, but he will have to rely on Ryan not taking out the century. 55. It's not the worst start. That last one, it still gets him into treble, single, double range. But De Vreda's missed twice to give Raschini 44. this chance. If he gets to double top, he might just take this first set. Lovely guide. Couldn't find the treble. So De Vreda, who 16. last time he was on 56, Missed the single, right, was able to save 56. the shot. 
Well, again, he's going to take his time over this. He knows how crucial it is. 16. Only just in. Double top. And double 10. 36. And neither find the target. A big up opportunity now for the Italian. 60. Debbie wants to catch the moment. Will it be his moment? No score. No. We'll send Brilliant that one into you being framed, Deborah. That's the second game in a row we've seen somebody bust 60 points by hitting a treble 20. Yeah, that's good. And it's punished the first set. by Ryan De Brady. What well, over there? It's 14. been a day of kind of dramatic stuff, hasn't it? David Cameron. Made a mess of his opportunity and went down to Ian Jones in the opening match by two sets to one. John Dedramo got the better of 60. Donovan Lottering in a more comfortable win. And even though Tori Kewish won 2-0 against her roommate for the week, Lorraine Hyde, 60. it was anything but comfortable towards the end of that one. Not comfortable at all. We saw her interview with John Rowling just now. It has to be said, the word relieved when she hit that double five... You can see it in her face. I think she'll play against Dieter 16. Hedman with a lot less pressure. Well, some Fallon fans in. Fallon Cherica, former Lakeside finalist, not in this year's tournament. De Vrede taking full advantage of the start here in set number two. He will throw in the odd numbered legs after Raschini won the bullseye shootout. 55. Before this match began Barry in the practice room. And as this match materialises a little bit more, Roscoe has got issues. Short format, we must remind you of that. What are the great darts from the Dutchman. Yeah, he took his time on doubles earlier in the match, but the two key moments really for him. 54. Took a moment for both Ryan of them and he seemed to do the trick. 24. Still double 12. No score. Same sort of range on double 12 that he had with double 16 earlier in the match. Yeah, I'm just thinking about it, he did take a moment, obviously because of the key point in the match for each of those previous doubles. But if that works for him, why not do it 81. all the time? Why Ryan just rush in now and start throwing? Because again he misses, and yeah, again came short the he first finds line. this time the switch across line, to first. double six. But when he's, when he's throwing faster at doubles, it seems to be a little bit more difficult for him to find them. Sometimes we've seen Dutch dart players really struggle to 16. stay rhythmic because they're so preoccupied with playing really quickly. But one of the reasons why Christian Kist won this title against Tony O'Shea ten years ago is because 65. he had perfect poison rhythm. Yeah, there are rhythmic players who still take a moment for, for doubles. A, a former finalist here, Dave Chisnell, in fact, the player that beat De Vrader at the PDC 55. World Championship is, is an example of that from time to time. I think Rob Cross, another one. And Kevin Painter is a great example of that. He used 58. to step back if he needed a bit of time. There's nothing wrong with stepping away from the hockey for a second or two just to compose yourself you're absolutely right Murph well a couple of times it hasn't cost him 100 and look he'll do what he feels comfortable with the muffin man is in town just for everybody's educational purposes that wasn't 49. an actual muffin man that was a Steve Hine fan I thought you were going to say it was a Steve Hine cartoon on the back of a Steve Hine fan shirt. If you're going to be really accurate. Hine in action this evening against Kevin Lutz. And we all are wondering whether baked goods will be coming onto the stage with him. I can confirm that baked goods have made the trip. One of them, that 20. hasn't really cost De Vreda too much because that was in the single five. But it does get him back in the leg with two treble 20s. Now, Skeeny doesn't have a massive amount of success in ranking tournaments to date. He has been accumulating points and getting better in ranking tournaments. I don't think he's too far away, potentially, over the next couple of years from finding that 
really big win that changes his career and his confidence. Francesco Unicola, 156. Well, this would change his confidence. Not to be. And is Raider more than capable of clean, cleaning up the 160? 60. Right, you require 160. May not need to. 96, no guarantee of a dart of the double at the end of that for the Italian. I saw Joe Clements last night miss a 160 on tops. Ryan doesn't get a shot at it. 85. Francesco you require 96. Oh, what a dart that is. Double 18. Seventy-eight. Ryan Unicorn. It's all pain 75. for the Italian, and it could be more pain coming his way if Ryan can find trouble seventeen, which he does. Double twelve last time was not kind to him. Only got two shots at it. Sixty-three. Misses them both. For well, those two darts that Ruskidi had missed at double in the previous visit it was more than he missed in the match up to now. He misses another. Gets a fourth at double four. Ten. And he can't find that either. And that is the thing that's been keeping 12. him in this match so far. De Vrader is getting way, way more opportunities. Double three. Six. For Another chance. Eight. For Ruschini. I don't know a player on planet Earth that doesn't like double four. Maybe Roscoe doesn't. Yeah, like Gets line. him back in the set. And will be cursing Fair himself inside. He should be 2 0 up in the second. Yeah, it's now 22 darts missed at double in this match for Ryan Devrada. And lots of them in, in clumps. It's too many. We can disguise some performances, but unfortunately, when you're missing that many darts at double, you deserve to be punished. At this level, you must be hitting one in three, 18. in my opinion. One of the end, 35. Well, it's almost three in one visit there. And trebles, or treble twenties at least. But De Vrede, who will keep getting more chances, but he can't be feeling confident. 95. Raschini made his World Masters debut in 2016 and he lost out to someone that we both know. One of the N30. Young Bradley Kirk. Not playing a great deal at the minute, Bradley, but still a fine young man. Yeah, spent a lot of time playing WDF, BDO, England darts tournaments, etc. and was had a tip to be the next big 16. thing. It never really panned out Bradley that way for Bradley. He played another World Masters in 2019, the last running of the tournament. He lost out to Paul Hogan, who lost out last night to Tomo. De Vrede will come back for 85. Another chance to put himself within one leg of this match. 58. Right, you require 85. Well, he's going to have plenty of opportunities. He's trying to go 25, 20 tops there, or going for the ball. No he score. the score completely. Well, he tried to be a little bit clever there to give himself the best chance at a preferred double, but he ended up making a right old hash of it. Three times today we've seen someone bust 60 by hitting the treble 20. One and that is now cost him big style right, because Roscoe, to his credit, has shrunken his score. What can De Vreda do on tops? 65. Well, he persevered, but he should have been 74. going back for a double that time, having done something similar. And now Raschini can try and find his finishing from the first part of the match. Double eight. Yeah, and he's in. In the bird line. It's in the double, and he's in front in the set, and it didn't look like that Four was going to happen Francesco just a few minutes ago. Well, I hate to bring this up because I know there's going to be a lot of people watching in Italy, but Moschini's looking to do what the Italian football couldn't, and that is make it to the next round. Well, he's already done better than they did because he's made it to the tournament, Paul. <laughs> that was going to be my next point. It's 
somewhat shocking turn of One events in the football. But Moschini, to his credit, is now in front in set two. Has a lovely chance of taking us all the way. Yeah, and that will be a little bit of a confidence boost for him because he hit his first two darts, or two of his first three darts, should I say, at double in this match, but then had a spell of missing. So that will settle his nerves, knowing that his opponent has missed... 43 darts now at the outer ring. When you see your opponent missing that many shots, it does give you the belief that maybe he's there for the taking. And also the knowledge that De Vreda has not gotten over the line in a World Championship match to date. So he hasn't got that experience to dwell from. Yeah, and it's not just the doubles either, is it? In the last leg, 16. he only got one dart at double from 85 thanks to that bust. If that keeps happening today, I'll be amazed. You very rarely see that, but three times in an afternoon? Three times in the treble 20. One it is. The Italian strikes. His first maximum on the lakeside stage to Breeder. Almost replied in kind, but this is for the set. Double 16 to win set two. Yeah, the doubles, the most of the set. time, have Francesca been really Rischke. good from the Italian. We have a game on our hands. It's 1-1. One, one. And Raschini is looking to do Demo. exactly what Kadar did yesterday, losing set one, but then goes on to win 2-1 overall. But what a spell of darts that was. A 180s first on the stage and then followed up with that brilliant 71 30. checkout, completing a 14 darter. Absolutely excellent stuff from the Italian debutant. 40. There you see he's been, for most of the match, behind in the scoring. Before that 180, only 10 scores of more than 100. No 140s. The Raider hitting five. That's why he's getting so many more opportunities at doubles. But 100. There's one man that's hitting them with a much better success rate. 59. Based on looking at the players right now, the one that I think looks more likely to win is the Italian. Even though he's missed there, he seems to be holding it together mentally better than his opponent. Well, the winner will take on the 28. American Jules Van Dongen in the next round. One of the players who will be heading down from the PDC event in Barnsley. I think it was a great move, don't you, by the... 28. First, the WDF to still invite those players and then the PDC to let them play. Just made sense. No point penalising players for what was out of their control. I think that was a great move. From my viewing point right now, I can actually see one of those players. Well, Connor 40. Scott is watching on in the crowd. He will play a little bit later on tonight. It's good for everybody when we're all getting along. Wasn't the case back in 1993. 59. Well, Raschini here on debut, getting along very nicely indeed. I've been asked on a few occasions as to whether I had gotten along with anybody on the stage during a match. 85. I didn't like them at all from the first start of the match until the whole thing was over. Didn't matter who it was, they were in my way. One hundred and eighty. Now, that was a great one, eighty. But if he'd have got a single 20 there, he wasn't on a finish. Yeah, it seemed like he just did it to try and G himself up a little bit. You could see the reaction. He smacked the darts, didn't he, when they were in the board. Where has that been? 41. He fires in his second. Wolfie enjoyed it. De Vreda did not like that first dart. 95. He liked the next two, though. Moschini takes this. He's ahead overall. That does not help. 25 and bull, surely. I don't think that's the right play. 37. Right, you require Double 40. top 10 for De Vreda to take the opening leg against the darts. Double 10. But once no again, he comes to the opening in a double. Misses three darts at it.
Same target that was missed by his opponent. 20. Same outcome for the Italian Ray X. 40. Who may well be feeling as blue as that shirt if Devreda pops this in. Yeah, that's game show in the first lap. Ryan Devreda. Second lag is Ryan at throw first. Did Demo. he need double top then? That's what I'm thinking. Well, sometimes you just got to follow what the referee tells you. And I was pretty sure he was on double ten. One of the forty. Well, he obviously doesn't care. He started leg two with a one forty and a one nil lead. I'm pretty sure the two darts were outside. I may have to rewind the tape. Maybe it's me, but one hundred. Old school. Still using tape, are you? Yeah, so he should have been on 20, but if he's told... 44! He needs 40, that's what he hits. Them's the rules. Referee's the chief up there. Moschini getting on with business, and he's now got to find three legs from 83. a possible four. Things are getting tighter by the second. The scoring's been absolutely fine. But isn't this something that we talk about with players who are a little bit quicker and they have that kind of style that Ryan Devreda has? He's in a lovely position technically, in the scoring phase, but when he comes down to a double and approach shot as well, he just seems a bit more uncomfortable. There it is again, two trouble twenties. Switching this time. 136. Didn't fancy landing the match just to make his opponent hear the call, really, because some players do like to do that. 60. Right, you in trouble. Tops. Now tens. Yeah, and tends to found for a two nil lead in the last Ryan set. Raschini needs three straight. First. Game on. Yeah, such a good spell to come back in that second set. Fifty-five. And she won in style with a one eighty, backed up by the seventy-one checkout. But it's been one-way traffic 41. in this final set. But he still hasn't got over the line before. Now he has his best opportunity to do that. Some people just can't get over the line. They doubt themselves too much. And in this spot, Ryan De Vreda really has to believe that this is his time. 85. He hasn't looked entirely comfortable. And he will have to up his game to take the match to Jules Van Dongen in the next round. Yeah, Jules has been playing a lot of darts this year. 40. More than ever in his very young career. He'll certainly be, apologies, Paul, he'll certainly be heading to the nearest dart shop and asking if he can buy a double. Because can you really, buy doubles? Well, he hasn't been able to buy many in this match, but he might just get... The ones that he needs. It's not like Wheel of Fortune, Darty. You can't just buy a double like you'd buy a vowel. <laughs> I'm still smiling. Win or lose, it was always going to be an extra special occasion. 100. Someone's got to make that move, haven't they? Someone's got to get there first. You think about Raymond van Barneveld. Back in 1994, coming here. You just think that me you're on the cusp of something changing. Well, he had a massive impact on the young stars in the Netherlands. People follow Barneveld, the likes of Stompy. And the rest. Again, it's the 25 on the 1-2-1. The likes of Scholten came after Barneveld. Who could possibly follow in the footsteps of Raschini? But his effort is not done yet. But he's going to need to find something really accurate. And 83. hope that De Vreda does not finish the match. Right, this big ball of a shot. 
Which he might. Well, this would be the ultimate irony. Game. Couldn't Shots hit a double for much of the match, but then completes the match.